Welcome back to another tutorial tidbit. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and I'm here to give you a little peek inside my hand painted paper collage process. And along the way, I hope that you'll learn a few tips and tricks. So today I want to talk about using the gel plate. It's a mixed media tool that's all the rage right now, although some people have never used it. Some people have purchased it, they have it, it's still in the box because they're afraid of it. So I uh, originally was also one of you who were afraid of it, um, and then when I opened it up all I made was mud with it. And I thought, I don't understand what the big deal is with this tool that I can't do anything with. But I watched a lot of videos online um, on YouTube and then I started practicing and working at it and now I can honestly tell you that I make a large portion of my collage papers with my gel plate so let's go out into the garage studio and I will teach you one of my favorite techniques I've got my golden fluid acrylics here lined up from a light a very light value to slightly darker to slightly darker to slightly darker when I do gel plate prints I work from light to dark um, whatever color range you're in you start with the lightest value of that color and work darker so today I'm gonna work in yellow I've got a brayer to roll the paint onto my plate and this is my gel press gel printing plate Gel Press makes a wonderful product. It comes in all different sizes. This one is an 8x10, but I also have a really big one, 12x12, 12 12, and they make smaller ones, 5x7, 6x9, so whatever fits your budget and your project, but this is my favorite size. This is a brand new plate that never happens. They're usually dirty and messy and well-loved, um, but I figured I'd break out a new one for this tutorial. I grabbed some leaves from my yard um, I live in Florida, so I have green leaves year-round. Um, if you don't have this situation, summer is coming, but you can also use silk. Um, but I prefer real leaves because when the silks get built up with a lot of paint, they don't work quite as well. And when these get built up with a lot of paint, I just go get more. So <clears throat> I've got some old book pages that I'm going to work on. This is a book that I bought at a used book sale. Not very expensive, big oversized sheets, nice quality paper, thick and um, nice quality, much better than um, using things. I never use newsprint, magazines, phone books, newspaper, any of that stuff. So old book pages, I like that a lot. And so we're gonna start out by using the lightest value of yellow fluid acrylic that I have. Put a few droplets out on my plate and spread it with the brayer. The first thing I'm going to do isn't all that exciting. I'm just going to do one solid sheet with my light yellow. Now I've got a nice light colored solid to start building my leaf layers on top of. So now I'm going to go to my next level of dark yellow. And putting it out here, it doesn't really look that much darker than this one. So I'm gonna add a little nickel ozo gold to it to see if I can get it to be a little bit darker because I wanna, I want this layer to show up over the previous. And then I'm going to lay my leaves with the vein side down. I'm gonna take the stem off of this one. And then I'm gonna take this prepared sheet, put it over and apply some really good pressure right down in between all the leaves, pressing with the palms of my hands. I'm gonna pick it up to sort of get a peek at where I might need to add more pressure, peeling it up from the corner. And there I have a nice mask of my first layer leaf print. So I'm going to quickly remove these from the plate and then you can see that I have leftover paint that was trapped under the leaves. So I'm gonna take another sheet of paper and lift that ghost print where I will get positive images of the leaves. I 
That's pretty fun. That can be a beginning layer for another sheet of collage paper. So now I'm gonna go a little darker with my next paint, Indian Yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna to that to make sure that it's slightly darker than the previous layer. Blend it together for sort of a yellowy brown color. I'm gonna add leaves in a different layout. Some of the same leaves, some different. And then I'm gonna take my same sheet that I've already got one layer on and now I'm gonna add another layer. And this is the beginning of layering. I'm gonna layer and layer the leaf prints on top of one another, going a slightly darker paint tone every time so that you can see each layer through the previous layer. This is beginning to be beautiful and interesting with layers and layers of values from light to medium to dark and wonderful patterns of overlapped leaves. This is something that you can experiment and play with and I hope that you will find joy in your gel press gel printing plate.